Oh, okay, so I've mounted a piece of the, the chipboard to a mat. It suggests additional securing, so hence the, the masking tape. The blade is fitted into the, the housing. This is what I'm going to try and cut. So it's going to sort of ideally be like a brick lined underpass. So there's lots of little bits and then lots of arches. Um, so what we can do is we can go to make it. We're going to tell it's on a mat. And basically it says it's tried to work out what size of stuff is going to be um, so hopefully where that is coincides with where I've put it so we'll go continue and then what we want to do Browse all materials and heavy chipboard. Do I want to calibrate the knife blade? Uh, we'll say yes and come back to this. Okay, so calibration done. Uh, what it's saying is make sure you use strong, strong grip mat and move all the star wheels. Away, which are just these little wheels and basically they have to miss the mat because otherwise they will indent it and then we load the material and it'll go off and basically drags it all the way through As I think. Uh, long time cut so it's going to uh, have a think and do multiple passes so we hit go Never sure what it does over in the corner. So, as you can see, it twists around. So, in theory, it's keeping the leading edge of the blade in the direction it's moving and hopefully it'll do that. Over here it's saying it's going to do 24 passes of it so it'll take eight minutes or so so we'll not watch this and we'll come back once it's cut out and see what it looks like. So I've put the design through the the cutter and I actually had to modify this design because originally it was five arches which was the exact width of this and these little corner uh, pieces it was getting sort of jamming I think because it was going off and then hitting it and jamming it so I had to cut one arch off uh, and re-edit it. The other thing it does suggest is not to make the material smaller than a pencil and unfortunately I made these little pieces about two mil with a two mil out cut out and then two and basically it's gone over them so many times it's just turned it to mush which is a bit of a pain. If I hadn't bothered making the little uh, cut out piece which is for one of the other braces to uh, to slot into. I think it would have cut perfectly. So that was perhaps a learning curve. Um, the other thing is, weirdly, the bits that I had covered with tape didn't get um, didn't get quite so bad um, t 
tear out. So maybe that's what I could have done is covered all of the, the bits where I knew it was going to be. But that's very much down to working out the design. What I may just do is cut them off sort of slightly higher up because I did think I originally made the arches semicircular and then I thought that actually they're probably not. Um, so I could have done that. But the other thing is for this material, it does 24 passes. I've stopped it after 12 because it is definitely cut through in places. And I reckon it'll be easier to finish the little tiny pieces where it's in corners where it's not cut through with a knife rather than waiting for it to go through. It took about an hour to cut that. Um, and all of the other bits, which I've made into a really stupid shape that's not related, um, that also took an hour. But they certainly came out really well, um, nice and clean. I set it to two mil so that it would interlock, and it does. Um, not perfectly, that you know, without any bracing, it does wiggle. Um, but anyway, I shall get this piece off and then we'll see what it looks like all together. So there it is, cut, assembled, roughly glued up. So you can see that some of the little bits did tear out. Um, perhaps whenever they said, for this thickness of material, keep it about a pencil, they knew what they were talking about. That said, for this structure where the inside would be lined with uh, brick paper, and obviously you would have your sort of arches like that, it wouldn't matter, it'll still hold the shape. Um, I think in hindsight, how I attached these longitudinal braces was the mistake, because even the uh, those ends, which are 4 mil, they cut fine. So it was just blue 4 mil that is a problem, <laughs> inconveniently. Um, I think what I would probably also do is try and simplify the de design, so maybe less of the sort of tongue or tenon joints um, just because the more complicated the cutting the longer it takes um, I also cut all of these little pieces that are to sort of double up and just stop the, the paper bowing in places and yeah that would have been much quicker just to do by hand um, but I must say those arches, they are 5mm diameter. No, not 5mm, 5 cm, 50mm. Um, and obviously they are a really clean cut edge. Um, I don't know how small an arch you could cut. We will probably find that out at a, another time. Um, but yeah, um, it definitely has achieved what I wanted, uh, like the backbone, which sort of interlocks to all of them and then provides a, a degree of support uh, to keep it all square, worked really well. Um, overall, it's come out, it's flat, it's reasonably strong. Um, it'll certainly hold another building on top of it. Um, not going to be rock solid but then it's made out of although they call them call it a chipboard it, it's a very if it is wood it's a very fine pulp uh, it is more just like compressed cardboard so uh, but there we go we'll try and find some brick paper to print out and try and line it and then we'll see as I say I think I shouldn't have made the arches semicircular. I think if I cut them off there, I think it would have actually looked better. Uh, but I didn't, so 
we've got what we made. Uh, right, that'll do for now.